Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Miami Marlins and the Washington Nationals. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set and on the mound for Washington in this one, Jared Icahn. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy, no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Very dominant with that fastball inside. The hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Paul McIntosh, the next up for the Marlins. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter. And he got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Nothing doing for the Marlins. And now the Nats get their first opportunity. There's no score. You're watching Nationals Baseball on the show Mid-Atlantic. Back here in Nationals Park. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Sixto Sanchez. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? A very forgettable start his last time out. Was only able to work a couple of innings. We're looking for him to put it all together today. Command, tempo, and just really a confident presence out there on the mound. Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground, right side. One gone, bottom half of the first. Here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals. Of course, a big piece for them is their DH, Joey Meneses. Yeah, definitely someone I always enjoy, you know, when I get a chance to watch him, whether he's hitting in a game or even taking swings during batting practice. Man, this guy's always so focused on what he's doing on that task at hand. He's got so much attention to detail that when he steps in the box, his success rate is really high. That one's in there at a count one and two. Here's a rocket out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent base. And now Joey Meneses. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. And a pitch. Hey! Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Got him. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing to do it for Washington. We played an inning. No score. Welcome back. Second inning set to go. And now the DH, Jesus Sanchez. Sanchez. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And the right hater deals. That one ripped. And now maybe extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's into scoring position with a leadoff double. Maybe a chance for our first run here. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And the batter now, Brian De La Cruz. Nope. The next pitch misses, two and one. Hard 
ground ball base nine. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. Nick Fortes will hit next. And here it comes. On the ground, could be two. One at second. And a run scores on the double play. And up next for Miami, Charles LeBlanc. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So they get one run on two base hits. No errors, and nobody left on. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Marlins one. Back in Washington, D.C. Bottom Washington. half of inning number two. Right and now the right fielder, Jared Kelman. Next pitch is outside. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. The pitch. Got him looking. And that's the first out. Well, he throws him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was off speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. One and two now. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Off to a strong start, Siggy, as he's punched out the three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. And there's ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice man. plate appearance. Jamer. Now batting Jamer Candelario. No hits in the shutout yesterday afternoon. The pitch. And they're at the knees. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And another ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Lane Thomas to bat next. Here comes a 3-2. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Nationals leave one, and it remains 1-0. Back here at the ballpark, onto the third inning. And now, Abasail Garcia. And a pinch. That's to third. Garcia gone on the play. Batting nine. The third baseman. Jacob. Jacob Berry. Berry. The next up for the Marlins. To third. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. He's in at second with a one out double. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And the righty deals. Ground ball up the middle, and it gets by him. Now a long throw home. The run comes in from second, and they take a two-run lead. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Paul McIntosh, the next up for the Marlins. His first at bat was a strikeout. 2-2 two -two down. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. He's 0 for 1. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And a 1-1. That one fouled off. 
He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Here's a one two. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and it's two zip. You're watching. Ready to go for the last Leading half of the up, inning. And National now up for Washington, Lane the Thomas. A one one. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. Stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. That one close, ruled a ball. And now three and one. The three one. He swings and fouls one off. Thomas gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Three. He goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, okay. and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. 1 1 now. Line drive caught. Made a bid for a nice opposite field double down the line. Beautiful swing, but nothing you can do about the result. Third basemen are just used to handling hot shots like that. And now it's Luis Garcia. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good That's chance to cut into their deficit. Joey Meneses now at the plate. Struck out looking at his first at bat. And a ball in two strikes. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys were chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Next pitch misses way outside. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So the next. Out of the fourth, here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. There's the swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. And that one is lifted in the air. Kelman settles under this one. Makes the grab one away. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. Single to right in his first trip. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Smoked to the left, base hit. Now he'll turn for second. Not in time. He's got a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And now here is Nick Fortes. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Got him swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. And now for the Marlins, Charles LeBlanc struck out swinging his first time. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-1. Two, two balls, one strike. Next pitch has popped up. And that's a base hit. De La Cruz headed for the plate. He scores. It's 3-zip. 
No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Totally tied up with that inside pitch. Got to it late and deep in the zone, but he got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. Next offering is down low. Two and two. LeBlanc off of first with two away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now... And welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now here is Jared Kellner. Next Ball pitch two. downstairs. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. And there's a foul ball. Can't pick it up cleanly. Pretty much gifted a leadoff base runner right there. And as an offense, this is where you really want to take advantage. Apply some pressure this inning. Make that error hurt. Dom Smith stands in. Next pitch off the play. And a count two and one. Double play ball to second. There's one and two in time to first for the double play. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, Hebert Ruiz. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate on the ground right side. Sends it to first. That ends the inning. One error in the inning, but nothing more. We played four. It's the Marlins three and the Nationals nothing. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the it's going to be Jacob Berry. Jacob Berry. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. And, deals. and that one hammered way back there and out of here knew what pitch he wanted to hit spent on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off here's Joey Wendell Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Paul McIntosh, the next up for the Marlins. This to third, and it stays fair. Jerks in pro far, and he'll be the injury replacement taking over third. Now playing third at the play, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Got him looking for the K. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach. Runner on the go. Next offering is foul back. a one-two back to the mound and a base hit right there throw in holds the lead runner at second two on now with two away and at the plate for Miami Brian De La Cruz the next offering misses and it's two and one good eye right there 
Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind it. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. McIntosh around third. Lay at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And the lead is up to five. So two down. Nick Fortes getting ready to hit. Zach Britton gets the call from the pen. He's pitching on two days rest. Number 53, Zach Britton. That's in there. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Now fly ball to right center. Thomas glides to his left. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that will end the inning. So two runs. Now batting Jerickson Profar, taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. Next pitch oh, is right outside. Down. Miami's bullpen with some action. Johnny Cueto, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. The pitch. Hey. There's a strike. I got a full count. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. McIntosh oh. takes it to the bag, and the leadoff man set Let's down in their half of the fifth. Lane. Here's Lane Thomas, and he's already singled in this game. On, That's in there, and the count is one and two. One ball, two strikes. Up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Home oh. after the fifth inning, moving along, two quick now outs. Just an outstanding play going throw. up the middle right there. And the exchange to get the throw off to first just shows you why he's one of the best shortstops around. So smooth, yet so quick at the same time. And any slower in those... Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. It's 5-0. Welcome back. All set Maybe for the top of the end. sixth. Now it's the, the second, second baseman, baseman Charles, Charles LeBlanc. LeBlanc. Baseball runs of the family for Zach Britton. His brother Buck has been a minor league manager in the Orioles system since 2018. And a 2-1 on the way. Swing and a foul straight back. Yeah, Buck was named Manager of the Year of the Eastern League for the Bowie Bay Sox back in 2019. Smash down the left field line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's one away. Avisail Garcia up to the plate. Next one misses. And that's ball two. Comes up empty. That's strike two. At the belt and fires. That just misses. And now three and two. Ground ball left side. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. Bows it back with two strikes. The other way. Base hit. And that turns the lineup over. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Back here in Nationals Park. Well, we go Four bottom Washington. six. And now the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. Ripped on a line. That's a base hit. Next to hit for the Nats, Luis Garcia. The 1-1. One, one. 
Abrams on at first. Nobody out. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Here's a one two. Run around the goal. Ball misses. Throw safe. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Ground ball right side in plenty of time to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. And here's the DH for Washington. Joey Manessis. Joey Manessis. One and two here. Liner snagged it first. The right fielder, number 12. Jared. Here's Jerry Kelnick. Kelnick. The two one. What a stop. Gathers and throws, and that's a nice play to end the inning. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. We're through. Back in Washington, D.C. We go to the top of the seventh. Now the number two hitter, Paul McIntosh. You know, these Marlins really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They keep finding themselves behind in the count, but it really hasn't mattered in this one. Seven of their hits have come in disadvantaged counts, and I think that helps create a mental advantage for these guys. And now Jazz Chisholm oh, Jr. Next offering upstairs. That one inside. And now three and one. And that's ball four. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're in the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. And he deals. Base hit, left center field. McIntosh around third. One run is in. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Tanner Rainey taking over on the mound. He last pitched two days ago. Digging in, Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Gary Simmons. Right-handed reliever. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Pulls it in on the run. Runner tags for home, throw home, he beats it. And they're pulling away up by seven now. Next to hit, Nick Fortes. Swings and misses, and it's one and two. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. And up next for Miami, Charles LeBlanc. One for three. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Sanchez off the of first with two away. Swings and misses. Good job at damage control right there. They put two. New pitcher for the Marlins, Johnny Cueto. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. But when the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Lined into right. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on, and nobody out. Now batter, 
the third baseman. Up now for Washington. Jerickson Profar. Grounded out his first time. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And the pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. To first, maybe a two ball. Over to Wendell. There's one. Back to the pitcher covering in time. It's a double play. The center fielder. The 3 6 1 eight. double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect. And right there, they made it look pretty easy. And now the center fielder, Lane Thomas, one for two. Oh, and this one gets away. He doesn't have a throw, and they come away without an out. Up so he's able to reach first base despite the strikeout, and that extends the inning. Kind of a tough turn of events for the defense there. Yeah, that's maybe a little bit of a morale killer. For a second, you think you're about to go hit, but really quickly you have to refocus and be ready for the next play. We'll see if they can work around it. Here's Chavis now. Next offering is in for a strike. Next pitch has popped up. Fortes under it. And that'll do it. This one pretty well decided at this point. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Marlins seven and the Nationals nothing. Ready to begin the eighth. Leading now it's the right Miami. fielder, Abasail right Garcia. Abasail Garcia. Oh. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. That clips the corner. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. And it finds its way through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Jacob Berry digs in now. Here's a 1-1. Right. Berry checks his swing, appeal to third, and he went, says Larry Buller. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fights that one away, still 1-2. and two. Garcia aboard here at first with nobody out. Foul tip. Oh, that got our umpire. And it looks like it got him upstairs. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. To second. Pulls him off the bag. Oh, he's safe. Up next to the Marlins. So the lineup flips over. Here's the shortstop at the play. Joey Wendell. And a big swing and a miss. Ooh, Baya. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Oh. Next one just misses. It's two and two. Kicks and fires. In the air to left center. Chavis makes the grab. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. Up next for the Marlins. The Paul McIntosh, Paul. the next to hit. McIntosh. The next That's pitch Paul. misses, and the count two and one. Two one. Runners are at the corners, one away. Ouch, that one drilled him. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. The comebacker got him down low, and you can really see him favoring the leg. That's his plant leg, which might be a concern, Chris. Yeah, you hope he's got some feeling in that leg so he can land on it, like you said. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay and try to continue, Boo. 
You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Fights it off. He'll see another. Next pitch is outside. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. The new pitcher in the game, Victor Arano. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Nicely done. Brings home two. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Three balls, one strike. Man at second. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. The catcher, number four. Here's the catcher, Nick, Nick Fortes. Fortes. The 1 1. Base knock, center field. Sanchez coming home. He will score. It's 11 to nothing. Well done. Drives in the run. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Nine men come to the plate. Out to the bottom of the eighth. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. One up, one down. So up next, Luis Garcia. Ball to strike. To the right side. To first. Two up, two down. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. Two outs. That's out to center field. Chisholm should have this one. And puts the squeeze on that. And that'll do it. And the Nationals gone in order. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Hunter Harvey. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but... He's got to find a way because these batters count the, the same for his stats, the obviously, right regardless of the score. Out to Garcia. short. Abrams throws across oh. the diamond. One up, one down. Stepping in, now, Jacob Berry. The 1-1. One, one. And that one just missed off the outside edge. 2-1 yeah. pitch is in there, and the count is even. Righty delivers. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Got it by him for the K. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch no, out. That, that fastball on the pitch before was Joey. up. It was very competitive. Yeah. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Struck him out swinging. Blew the express right by his. Bottom nine. Now it's the Nationals cleanup hitter, Jared Kellner. That's hard hit on the line. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now it's Dominic Smith. The wide to kick the pitch. Out towards right center field. Garcia makes the catch, and there's two away. 
Hebert Ruiz now at the plate the as the Nationals are down to their final out. Ruiz. Two down, nobody on. And that one ripped to left. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Marlins slug their way to a win in this one. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 11-0 your final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long.